guys, uh, just giving you a bit of a budget update um, that happened a couple of days ago. So one of the main things was there's no, been no changes to the personal tax rates, um, no extension to the budget deficit repair levy. So if you earned a lot of money, over 180,000, there's an extra two percent tax levied on you. So that's now ceasing from the 30th of June. So good news if you're a high income earner and we're paying that, that'll stop in the next financial year. Medicare levy has been increased. Yeah, Medicare levy has been increased from 2% to 2.5%. Uh, higher education, the HEX or HELP changes have been announced. So uh, they've actually increased the school fees to 7.5%, phased in from uh, 2018 up to 2021, they'll be increased by 7.5%. And you'll also be paying back X if your income is over forty-two thousand. Um, no changes in. Uh, there was talk of there just being a standard work de work work expenses deduction tax deduction for people who are working. Um, it didn't happen in this budget. I was just going to give you a fixed tax deduction if you're an employee, but that didn't happen. Uh, one of the big uh, things that is happening is um, banks are being taxed, or there's a new major bank levy. Raising uh, six million, oh, sorry, billion dollars. So um, the banks wouldn't be happy about that, but um, I guess it's raising a lot of money for the government. So overall, I think people have seen it to be a good move. The budget has recommitted to the 10 year enterprise plan for small business. And a reminder of that, that's um, uh, the company over the next 10 years is phasing in a, a reduction of the company tax rate to to 25% um, but for uh, from the next financial year the 1st of July 2017 the company tax rate will be 27.5% for enterprises with sales turnover under 25 million. The small business accelerated depreciation on equipment of 20,000 continues it's been extended to the 30th of June 2018 uh, so uh, if that's something that interests you, that would be helpful to small businesses. Um, there's been the continued targeting of multinational corporations. Um, we've heard this before, but the budget announced that they raised almost $3 billion from doing this. So there's going to be continued um, $4 billion they predict to, to be collected there. So that's good for um, the collection of tax. Um, the tax payments reporting system. Yeah, the tax payable reporting system has been extended to couriers and cleaners, so they have to disclose any payments to contractor payments. Other ATO targeting will be on the cash economy and serious ta uh, crime. Um, new residential premises, um, this has been a good change. Uh, instead of the GST being paid through VAS returns, it's now being collected at the settlement. So it will happen at your, on your settlement statement. Um, uh, there'll be uh, improved access to affordable housing for for Australians. Um, there's been a re removal of the deduction for if you own a rental property. Um, they're removing the travel allowance, uh, travel expense, claiming travel expenses for your rental property. There's been no changes to super. There's probably been enough changes on the super front lately, but. Uh, with uh, introduction of the, the balance of 1.6 million in your superannuation, the changes to non-concessional uh, lifetime caps, um, a reduction of the concessional contribution or tax deduction for 25,000 per year. Um, basically, there's been some new innovations in the super world, and that's um, super contributions of up to 300,000 can be added to elderly Australians who downsize their house. And they've also introduced a way of salary sacrificing for a home, first home uh, super deposit or home first home deposit. So basically, this is all work that you can uh, get a tax deduction for putting uh, money into your super, and then you can later use that for your first home as a as a deposit. And then when you take that out there, it, it'll be income again. So that's a great idea. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, there's going to be some credit card reforms, so um, 
um, it's trying to make a simplification of how interest is calculated, um, require online options to cancel cards to reduce credit limits and int interestingly prohibiting unsolicited advices, uh, uh, offers of credit limit offers. So yeah, that's been our little um, update on the, the uh, budget. Apologise, we had a little bit of uh, feed errors with the internet.